Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Well, do you have a gopher problem? Maybe a pocket gopher problem that's destroying your food plot or a field or a pasture? Well, today we're going to look at the Victor Black Box Gopher Trap and how do you put it to use to solve that problem. So this is what's called a choker style trap. As you can see, this is a very strong spring system and this is lowered down and latched. And when the gopher enters this chamber and hits this little trigger right here, this comes up very suddenly, eliminating the gopher. Uh, these are very strong, very durable, and very effective. And they need to be placed in a certain way to work. So one of the things that gophers really dislike is the end of their tunnel being open. So how this works is this opening right here at the end lures the gopher forward to explore that or to pitch dirt into it to plug that hole and in so doing sets off the trap and eliminating the gopher. This end of the trap is pushed up hard against the run of the tunnel. So if this is the hole uh, or the, there's a hole right here and this is the wall of the hole. You need to dig the hole as perpendicular as you can. You would push this right up against it and if the tunnel runs right there, you're putting it around the tunnel. When this is set, then the dirt is put around this, keeping the hole at the end open and then the, the, the gopher will come forward on this. But let's go ahead uh, and wait until tomorrow, then we're gonna take this to the field and set it. Let me walk you through how that's done. So the first thing you wanna do is find the freshest activity indicated with a freshly dug mound. In the case of a pocket gopher, these are fan-shaped, oh, probably about this wide at the uh, widest side, tapering back with a soil plug. And by knowing the shape of the mound and that it's fresh, you're highly likely to get them in their active stage where you can actually trap them. So now you need to know where uh, the run is. And it's generally about eight to 12 inches back from the soil plug opposite the wide side of the mound. So the wide side's over here, plug's here, the run's gonna be here running essentially left and right. Use a long probe, it can be a long screwdriver. I actually use the probe that comes with the gopher hawk uh, type of control system. And I plunge that into the ground until I finally have it give away, drop about two inches to find where the run is. Then using a trenching shovel, because you don't need anything any wider than what this is, or even maybe just uh, eight inches wide, then I dig out uh, a hole that's approximately um, double the width of this and try to get an opening of the tunnel on both ends because you're not sure is the gopher off this way or is the gopher off that way is the main burrow there is this one of the main runs you just don't know where the gopher is but now once you have this hole dug i take the trenching shovel or a board and insert it vertically dividing the hole in half with a hole uh, or the hole that you've dug with the entrance to the run on the left and right. Why do I do that? Because the gopher cannot let it stay open. They will come back and try to plug that hole. And if you have a divider in the middle, you can find out what side they came from. So you come back, can be within uh, minutes, it can be hours, it can be the next day. You're gonna find one side all filled with dirt. Now, when you, once you know that, you can clear that dirt back out open that side of the tunnel. Now you go ahead and set the trap, push the opening against the side of the hole, and then go ahead and fill over the top with dirt, leaving the hole on the end wide open so that the gopher is attracted to it. Then you can check and monitor the trap. One of the best advantages of these type of traps, or if you want to, if you're not sure, and you've got two of them like I do, you can put these face to face with an area open here. That way, if they are coming from both sides, you can sometimes get a double kill. These will tell you immediately with great feedback whether you got something or not. Um, if you come back out and this has popped up out of the dirt, um, it means either you've got a kill, a lot of times you can see through fur and then pull it up and 
dispose of the gopher, or it may mean you have a smart gopher that's just packed it and fired it with a lot of dirt, but now you know it got activity, clean it out, set it again, and then um, go from there. It may be this does not do the job for you, and that's the reason why we use a variety of other methods, including smoke cartridges, bait, and the gopher hawk. You can check out the use of smoke cartridges and the way that we've really jumped up the effectiveness of them by viewing this video over here. And we'll walk you through, again, how to find the burrow, how to place the cartridge, and uh, to know whether or not you've got a kill. And you can check out this other video where we show you how to use the gopher hawk, which allows you to just put right down in the burrow, and again, with a choker style, um, trap the gopher with an indicator on the top of whether or not it has been fired. Both of these can be highly effective and are just part of the arsenal it's going to take to get that gopher problem under control. Hey, until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com. Thanks for stopping by.